Hello, my name is Michaela, and this book is about the books that have my favourite covers. I'm going to go straight in with the first one, which is The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay uh, by J.K. Rowling. And if you look at that, it's gorgeous. Um, it's about Newt Scamander's travels in New York. And while he's there, he loses some of his magical creatures is like a magical zoologist um all hell's break all hell breaks loose in regards to his animals and other things in new york and during all of that he still has to try and find these animals and put them back where they belong in the safe space that is created for them to live breed and be safe because they are rare creatures that need protecting and need studying and of course, it's one of the best covers on my shelf. It's also a nice, like, simple, but it's got a really nice imprint on there as well, which I really like. The next book that I have is The Fox and the Star by Coralie Smith. And this one is gorgeous as well. This one's a children's book, obviously The Fox and the Star. It's about a lonely fox who uses the star to guide it through the horribly dark forest. With the star's light, he forages for food, he dances in the rain and plays with the rabbits. But when the star suddenly disappears, it leaves a fox in an unfamiliar dark surrounding leaving him hurrying for warmth and to find the star you must go on a wondrous journey in a pl in air places where he doesn't know so you can be safe again and it's not just the outside of the book that's really nice it's got some really nice illustrations in there you know it's not just like any or any other picture picture book it's really good quality it's got nice illustrations and i can't get enough of it and i recommend if you are going to buy it for your children keep it well away out of the sticky hands so it can be kept in good condition for when they're older because they'll treasure it even more because it's in good condition the next book that i have is on the other side by carrie hope fletcher this book is about Evie Snow, who at 82 passes away peacefully with her family by her side, but her soul is too heavy to pass through to her own personal heaven, so she has to try and fix that and unburden herself from the three secrets that she's held for over 50 years. And by doing that, she might just to find her way back to the man in her life that she's only ever truly loved and of course gorgeous cover carrie fletcher always gets really nice covers and even under the dust jackets on these ones they're really nice she always gets really nice copies and even on the inside they're always really really pretty and i can't get enough of when our books come out and they always seem to have really nice copies and i think she's got a new one coming out soon as well i can't i don't know what it's called but once i get the book i'll read it and i'll show you but i'm guaranteed that's going to be a gorgeous copy as well the next book that i've got is one that i've recently read and reviewed and that is whistle in the dark by emma healy um this is about jen who was at a wit's end um our daughter Lana has been missing for four days while well, I've been on holiday to kind of calm her mind and help her out with mental health. And this is about Jen trying to find out what happened during those four days she was missing and eventually try like puzzling things together. Honestly, it's a very nice cover. And then on this, it's on this bit, it's black sprayed and it's got the birds. And I quite like this as well, it's very pretty. 
And then it's got some nice little drawings on there as well, which I think is quite nice. It just adds to the book, I think, rather than take away. Because I don't always like sprayed edges. They're not, depending on the book, it can make it look tacky, which mine currently does because it's been bashed around in my bag to and from work and things which i don't mind if i'm paying for but if it's someone else's book not such a good thing but i think it's a really nice copy and i'm glad that i got this one instead of waiting for like the paperback or anything because sometimes hardbacks can be a much better copy even if you are paying more but if not get the paperback if you can't really afford the hardbacks because they are a bit more expensive um yeah so instead of paying 13 pounds you can pay about seven so some people rather pay that but overall i really like this copy and that the last copy that i have is by carrie hope fletcher again um it's just got a second appearance because you can't resist really for her books and it's called all that she can see and that this book is about Cherry who has a hidden talent that she decides she's going to use to help others and in the small town that she lives she's known as the very nice baker but of, of course there's more to that she uses her gift in the baking and uh, making them feel better and so on and this all happens without them knowing about it until a character called Chase comes into the book and ruins all of that and undoes everything that she has done to help the people in her town and everything that unfolds from there and the journeys that they have to go on um, and I loved this book and of course the things on the book like with on the other side have things to do with it like that bit like bakery tarot cards Things like that, you know, a little bit of magic. Um, you know, there is clues in there, always. And of course, there's that. And Cherry, I think in the book, is a black lady, if I remember correctly. So there's a bit of diversity in that regard. Um, yeah, and then there's the end, end pages, which are always really nice. And it's one of the best books that I've one of the best looking books that I currently own and most of them I think are if not all of them are hardback yeah they're all hardback copies and um, there's not that many paperbacks that I've ever owned that are really that nice um, and I did have a nice copy of um, Alice in Wonderland but I don't really like that book so I gave it away um, because I'd rather someone else read it that's gonna appreciate the book more than I did because I thought it was pale rubbish um, but it was a nice copy so I give it to my sister to see if she likes it more than I do and if not then my nephew would probably read it um, but that was a nice cloth bound copy which I don't have so otherwise I'd show it because just for the value that it's a nice copy even though I don't like the book at all but I hope you've enjoyed this video today and thanks for watching